Hi, I am Dr. Sakya Mansoor from my channel Learning Anatomy and uh, today I will discuss with you shoulder pain. It is the second commonest pain after the back pain and uh, this is the shoulder region and you could see the various muscles surrounding the shoulder region, right? So next I will show you, right, this is the uh, bony articulation of the shoulder region right first the most important of course is the shoulder joint and uh, this is the uh, you know glenohumeral joint the most uh, appropriate name is the glenohumeral joint and the second joint here is the acromioclavicular joint right the anatomy of the shoulder joint is already discussed and uploaded on my channel learning anatomy you could see if you want any detail so Continuing with the shoulder pain again, I told you already, second commonest musculoskeletal pain after the back pain. And the snow wheel membrane capsule and the ligament of the shoulder joint are innervated by axillary nerve and the suprascapular nerve. Joint is sensitive to pain, pressure, distension and excessive traction. Muscles surrounding the joint undergo reflex spasm in response to pain arising from the joint which in turn serves to immobilize the joint and thus decrease the pain. Injury to the shoulder joint is followed by pain, limitation of movement and muscle atrophy due to disuse. Obviously, this is disuse atrophy. Pain in shoulder region can be due to disease elsewhere and the shoulder joint may be normal. For instance, falling can cause shoulder pain. Diseases of the spinal cord in the vertebral column and pressure of a cervical rib. So let's discuss this very important point in the referred pain, the shoulder tip pain. Irritation of palatonium underlying diaphragm from many pathology in surrounding area causes the referred pain in the shoulder. And reason is the phrenic nerve. That phrenic nerve carry impulses from peritoneum. And the supraclavicular nerves ply the skin over the shoulder. Both take origin from the spinal segment C3 and C4. Means that C3 and C4, and this is the nerve ply of the, uh, uh, you know, diaphragm. So the painful shoulder. So I have summed up all the important causes of the painful shoulder over here in this uh, slide uh, in my discussion, right? So this is first of all. Uh, the shoulder pain be due to joint disorders. This could be the glenohumeral arthritis and the acromioclavicular arthritis. Then the rotator cuff disorders can be responsible for the painful shoulder, the rupture, tendonitis, and the frozen shoulder. Instability, so dislocation and sublocation, sub subluxation of the uh, shoulder joint can cause this pain. And the referred pain syndromes can be a result of cardiac ischemia and the cervical spondylosis and the mediastinal pathology. So, nerve injury, the suprascapular nerve entrapment, and the bone lesions infection and the tumors, right? So, that was all about this very, very short topic of the very important uh, disease, the painful shoulder, right? So I request you to subscribe my channel and uh, stay tuned as I am going to now start uh, osteology of the upper limb for starting with the clavicle very soon coming up on my channel learning and at me. So need support. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. Take care. Goodbye.